So if EA made a game about you, what would yes. your highest stat be? Probably liver resilience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the booze. 99. 99. No, man, it's like, it goes above it. It's 101. I'd, do it. I'd brought Lesnar it all the way through. <laughs> Lesnar liver. It's fuck you, yeah, man. Lesnar liver. Not his legs, though. God. <laughs> Given that I am a personality on the internet, I am, of course, used to being told I suck all kinds of dick by random strangers on the internet. Which is why my heart goes out to one Ethan Albright, an NFL player who in 2008 found out that he was objectively the singular worst player in that year's Madden game. Or at least it would if he wasn't so unbelievably chill about the whole thing. So to be the worst player in the game, what was Albright's ranking? Well, his overall ranking was 53 out of 100, which made him, as I said, the worst player in the game. There's an additional cock slap to him. Um, even shit tier rookies fresh out of like boot camp that you recruited onto your team would have higher stats, <laughs> uh, which must have been at least a little bit of a blow to the ego of a 12 year veteran of the sport. <laughs> Before we continue, can we just like address his Madden photo? Because you picked this article based purely on the face he has in that photo, <laughs> didn't you? Just the complete nonchalance of, yeah, I'm the worst player in the game. And what? I just love the idea of EA just turning up, right, we're going to take your picture for the game. And he's, he's like, yeah, do you want to smile? I am smiling, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so whoever edits this, your mission is never put anything over this photo. That photo stays there the entire time we're talking because it's so fucking hilarious. But it reminds me of, like, the World Cup. And do you remember when they had, like, every World Cup player had, like, a little introduction? Yeah. Like, a, like, a three-second animation and walk into frame and just, like, folding their arms? And I always wondered, like, were they told to do that? Could they have done something else? And I remember, like, the piss take someone did, where it shows you a few players in a row, then one player comes up and does it, and then another player comes up behind him and hugs him. <laughs> like, they're posing like a pregnancy photo on Facebook. My favourite is uh, there's a, a soccer player, I should say, mm -hmm. um, called Jimmy Bullard. And when it was his turn to do it for Sky, okay. he literally did three takes, and they were absolutely incredible. <laughs> Did like, he just do it wrong on purpose or something? Yeah, and there was one bit where he had his shorts literally up below his, like, <laughs> his chest. <laughs> I don't know why more players don't do shit like that, because I like, um, talk about like, FIFA. I remember where it's like Pele is in the game, like they always put like legendary players in. Yeah. And someone discovered that the photo they used, like his legend portrait, was a, fo a cropped photo of him in his hot tub. <laughs> because he couldn't be asked posing for a new one. So they just put a crop photo and he's putting a crop that on his thing. Which makes me think he's fresh, like that version of Pele that's on your team, he's fresh out of the fucking hot tub. He should be in, like, swim shorts on the pitch. Oh, that'd be amazing. Oh, man. But they'll never do that because that would make the game fun. So I've always said for FIFA, they need to do schoolyard picks mode. This is, like, my idea to make FIFA fun. Yeah. And just randomly pick, like, a group of, like, you know, players and then put in there some well-known ones. Like, put in, like, your messes and stuff like that yeah. so people know them. And then just give each player... All right, now pick five. One at a time, schoolyard picks. Yeah. Pick your team and then do five a side. But no, that's too much fun. It's too much fun to fuck it. Like, have this broken career mode. Oh, don't get me started <laughs> on that career we mode. Won't, we won't. We'll continue. We'll talk more about Albright. <laughs> Did Albright actually give a shit about this? No, and that's the hilarious part about this. Like, like, in his own words, it's just a video game. And when someone asked him... How do you feel about being the worst ranked player in Madden this year with a rank of 50, like an overall ranking of 53? His response was, well, it was 50 last year, so I'm doing okay. <laughs> it's getting better. Like, he, don't give a, like, he didn't give a fuck, which actually makes him like an exception to the rule because according to EA, the number one complaint they have from players in all of the sports games they produce is that their stats aren't high enough. Yeah. And they are constantly bombarded by players, like actual professional sportsmen who are multi-millionaires about the fact their stats aren't high enough in a video game. And like there are reports of people at conventions like being sought out by players so they can be yelled at about their God. stats. I mean, like it's just a little bit different, but in the NHL they have the All-Star game. Yes. And that is where the best players out of the teams mm -hmm. go and they have this charity match. And then the, one year they decided, oh, we'll do a vote. People can vote for who they want to be the team captain. Okay. And everyone just went, this shit player called John Scott. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So they, everyone just voted for John Scott. He was a, he was in, like, he's a goon. He's an enforcer. They <laughs> voted for him. 
are literally like, he won the vote, and then NHL like, no, he can't make the game. You know, he's no, he's not playing in this game. Even though it's a public vote. Yeah. Is it so Bowie McBoatface all over again? Yeah. What should we call our boat? <laughs> Bowie McBoatface. You mean the the RMS, like, no, David Attenborough? No, Boaty McBoatface. <laughs> So like, literally, like, all the fans just kicked off to the point where NHR had to relent and let John Scott be the captain in this game. <laughs> I love when they do shit like that. John Scott! So I thought you were going to talk about like, um, the legend of this channel, like Mr. Wayne Gretzky himself, oh, the great whose one. stats were so good that in, uh, what is it now? Fantasy League NHL, they had to have Wayne Gretzky goals, yeah. Wayne Gretzky assists. Because yeah. why would you not put him on your team? And you could only have one of the Wayne Gretzkys. Like, they had to split him into two. <laughs> he was that fucking good. He's like, oh man, like that's a character who should have max stats. If there's any character who should have max stats, it should be Wayne Gretzky and Bo fucking Jackson. Yeah. Like, those two, they were just like animals of the thing. But oh man. Let's talk more about those players complaining about their stats. So when you say that, are there any funny examples that stand out for you? Yes, um, there's an article like, discussing this, like people who work at EA, like, about, oh man, players just never shut the fuck up about their stats, it's so annoying. And there's a great little anecdote from someone who works for the company, and they said, oh, I was approached by a now retired player called Byron Lefwick, who couldn't understand why anyone in the game was faster than him, and bugged me about his stats the entire time he was there, seemingly unaware of the fact that asking the same question over and over again and getting the same answer and then asking it again would indicate that you are slow in at least one regard. <laughs> but I just love the idea that it's like, how can anyone be faster than me? It's a fucking video game. Yeah, yeah. But make my stats higher though. And I just think that's great. Like these multi-millionaires like bitching about their fictional stats in a video game. And then you've got just Ethan fucking Albright, the red snapper himself. So I don't give a fuck. I'm a millionaire, why would I give a shit? I'm in the NFL, who cares? Why was he so terrible? Well, this is the interesting thing because like, he was actually a pretty good player at the time. Like, not the best, but decent enough. And an EA representative like, explained to him, not that he needed to be explained because he didn't care, that like, the reason your stats are so low is because the position you play, I think it's left snapper, yeah. doesn't exist in this version of Madden. <laughs> Therefore, there was nowhere on the pitch we could put you because the one thing you excel at is not a thing the game can do. Yeah. So we had to basically just neuter all of your stats because you can't do anything. The one thing you're good at, you can't do in the game. And they seemingly knew this because there is one stat that Albright has in that game that is higher than anybody else's in the game, and that is team morale. Team morale. They gave him the highest morale of 99, so an almost perfect morale stat, <laughs> seemingly as like, you know, an apology yeah. for just making him so bad. And I love the idea that the worst player in that game got given the stat that means they tried the hardest. <laughs> then again, I would argue he deserves that 99 morale stat, given that he was told, you're the worst player in Madden, okay. That's fine, <laughs> I'm still gonna play my hardest. It's like, yeah, that guy deserves 99 morale. Do you think his picture was the moment he was told? <laughs> I think it is. I think it's just the moment in his head he's going, I'm going to go back to my mansion and bang my supermodel wife after I've taken this. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> all these youngsters can bitch about their stats all they want. I'm going out. I'm Ethan Albright. <laughs> I don't even know the guy. I think he's ace. So I mentioned like FIFA career mode and you your face just dropped. Yeah. So what what's going on with that? I don't really play many sports games, but I do follow like little silly stories like this because they are hilarious. So in the new FIFA, they've introduced this Is thing. Where FIFA 20? FIFA 20. To date the video. Yeah, um, where the happiest players play in the squad because it's all about team morale. That's the thing this year. You have to raise team morale. Oh man, the only thing, then, if only Ethan Albright was there. <laughs> just constantly in the squad. But that's the thing, like all like you get your Man Cities and Man United's are playing all their 17-year-old kids because they're the happiest. <laughs> because they've just been signed to Manchester United. <laughs> so then you like you play career mode and like you see like Brighton beating Man City 5 0. Oh, is that why? Because it's all simulated. Yeah. And it's simulated to play the happiest players. And it's yeah. just the fielding like basically the chuckle, the chuckle fucks they just brought on. It's like I played Tottenham in one of my first games. It's like they had Harry Kane, yeah, world, you know, world le quality level. And they're just ten kids behind him. I've never heard <laughs> he's of. Just play, he's just playing. just playing with a local school. It's so a charity match. So then I've like I've simulated a season. Just couldn't be bothered to play it. And literally like Man City, Man United, and Tottenham all went down. And it's like that's just that doesn't not like, right. This is a game that sells itself when it's real. Like it's realism. Yeah. 
That reminds me a bit of when I was playing like Fight Night one time. Yeah. And I was trying to like, you know, get my guy to like, you know, be the best. So I was ducking every single fight. So that's games that I knew I could win. So that took me about like 10 years into the future. Yeah. And I think Julio Cesar Chavez, who's like famous for having like some of the, like, the most fights in boxing, was still boxing, but it simulated his record up to that point. And I come up against him, it's just this guy who's had a thousand fights. Like, what? <laughs> A thousand fucking boxing fights, and he's in his fifties. <laughs> so, who is this god? Just this ageless, like, sentinel of boxing, and he want my ass because his stats were so high. So he's been boxing for like a thousand years. I'm just fighting like Imhotep in the ring. It's like, what do I do? <laughs> it's like, oh man, I, just, I love shit like that in like simulation games. They don't like, account for silly things like that. Yeah, because that was an issue I had with Formula One because that's like my big passion, mm. Formula One games. And until this one that's just come out. The season's just looped. And you had, like, Fernando Alonso, who was, like, 38, doing 20 years. So it's, like, still racing for him. I'm 58. <laughs> again, I can see it. But it's just, now they've actually done it where, you know, like, drivers can retire, so it looks a bit more real. <laughs> that's thing. That's what I like, like Julio Cesar Chavez. He's just fighting, and he's, like, in his 80s or some <laughs> shit. And he's fought every boxer in the world twice. It's like, before you become the champion, you must fight the ultimate boxer. You must fight the guy who when the bell rang, that was the Big Bang, and he's been fighting ever since. <laughs> just this immortal, ageless deity who just, like, channels all of boxing spirit into himself. It's like, yeah, he whooped my ass. He stopped my own soft Of course, I'm going to whoop this guy's ass. He's like, yeah, he, yeah. He's, like he's super old, and he's had a thousand fights. How hard can he be? It's like, yeah, pretty fucking tough. He's like hitting a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I did one night. punch on him and he's, he didn't move. He just walked through my punch and haymaker me. I got knocked out. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. Ultra instinct old guy. <laughs> just like, oh God, just Master Roshi in the ring. <laughs> oh no, not Master Roshi. Oh, 